Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I first discovered the, the uh, benefits of borax while uh, we were very concerned about solar flares here in the research group, in particular the effects of uh, large coronal mass ejections and uh, so it was a desperate search to try and find something that was cheaper uh, to protect you from high amounts of radiation, especially the high level radiations of um, the neutron radiations and, and other sorts of radiations. Everyone was saying, I need to make a lead hat that's 20, 20 inches thick. And there was all sorts of ridiculous things. And so I thought, this is desperately need to find something that's actually going to uh, have some benefits that's going to actually be able to be cheaper than a whole lot of lead and able to uh, protect a person from radiation. So as we discussed it, like we do, this is an open forum and people come up with ideas. And someone happened to mention that borax uh, or that borax is used in the uh, nuclear industry to suppress neutron radiation in the hot pools. You know how uh, the spent rods are put into a swimming pool afterwards? They're still producing huge amounts of neutron radiation, not enough for nuclear generation, which they need a huge amount, but they're still producing dangerous amounts of radiation. And they have to put them in a swimming pool to keep them cool. And they told us that they throw borax into the swimming pool uh, to keep them to stop the radiation from coming out of the swimming pool. And I thought, well, that's interesting because I've seen people just walking around these swimming pools w even without much nuclear prote um, radiation protection. So it must be quite magnificent stuff if, it, if you can just put it in water around the spent nuclear uh, rods and suppress the radiation. So I looked a little bit in, uh, around the place and it's true enough, I could find it confirmed in the nuclear industry that they do use borax as a neutron suppressor. It's a neutron absorber. It absorbs neutrons. So anything that absorbs radiation is a shield to radiation. It's just like um, a piece of metal can absorb the blow of, of an arrow or a bullet, let's say. Uh, so it's a shield to those things. So um, then I realized, wait a minute, I remember seeing a long time ago, uh, when I was a lot younger, a, uh, a uh, a video on the um, the way the military would defend themselves against the uh, nu uh, nuclear blast, the radiation from a nuclear blast, and it showed them on a um, on a vessel, on a on a some sort of destroyer or something, and it showed a nuclear explosion going off in a the distance. Then it showed everyone in the crew, everyone in the ship, throwing sheets over their heads. I thought that's unusual. Why are they throwing white sheets over their heads? And, uh, and protecting themselves apparently from the, uh, the effects of a, an atomic explosion, the nuclear part, the uh, radio radioactive part, by throwing sheets over their heads. And of course we laughed ourselves stupid when we were kids. We thought, well, you just throw a sheet over your head and, uh, and it will protect yourself from uh, radiation. And says, well, then we looked a little bit further and they mentioned, no, the actual sheets were impregnated with borax. They, the, they had cheesecloth type sheets. They impregnated it with borax. And that was adequate enough, they felt, militarily, to protect themselves from the harmful high levels of radiation from an atomic explosion. So, aha, uh -huh, that's very interesting. Then uh, after that, later on, I, um, when we were concerned about nuclear wars and, and radiation, I did put a thing on the internet, how to build a, um, a bunker to um, protect yourself from high levels of radiation. And that simply was getting borax mixing it with plaster and uh, digging a hole in your backyard and then making a dome of plaster, probably reinforced a little bit, basically a dome of putting something over the hole and then covering that, that thing, that, that covering of the hole, covering it with uh, uh, plaster and borax. Because I was quite aware that if you had a plaster and borax mixed together, you would have quite an adequate uh, form of nuclear or radiation protection. But then I found out that the, the plaster you have on your wall, some of those plasters that you actually have on your wall, you know, you put plaster on your wall all over your house and your ceiling, some of those uh, plasters you use actually are high in borax. In other words, unwittingly what you're doing is you're, you're creating a, uh, a, uh, a protective neutron absorbing uh, shield in your house when you plaster your walls with plaster that has a bit of borax.